Okay, so um, in the last video, we set up the uh, Express setup of our eight, uh, Stratix 8000 um, switch, network switch. So what I would like to go over now instead of the, the configuration, and, and we'll go over that in the next um, next video after this, but I would like to, to basically say this, uh, an option to actually default. Um, so set, let's just say you, you got one and for some reason you need to change it or something's running somewhere else, you had one go out and you need to change the configuration and you need to do it now um, but you you know you don't have the luxury to find a way um, hunt around and, and play on the internet and find out where exactly um, it is to you know how to default it so real quick it's very simple on how to default it uh, you basically power the switch down after you power the switch down put make sure you and this is very important so make sure that you have a uh, like say for instance a, a paper clip or whatever the case may be something of that they can push that express button when you know you want to push the button and then apply power back to it when you apply power back to it it will flash uh, it will come up and start flashing and then you basically you hold that button down for it's most likely about 30 seconds maybe a little longer you'll see the EIP mode, the EIP net, and the setup flash red. They'll all go red. At that point, you can release the button. When you release that button, you basically power it off, power it back on, and then you can express setup. So then you can go right back to um, where you were as far as using the express setup video that I made, and I'll link that in the comments below. Um, so Again, it's very simple. Um, if you have, and it doesn't matter what switch you're doing, you can um, basically you can it, when it, as long as it's got power on it, push the express setup button, take it, take the power completely off, count to about ten seconds, maybe even twenty. Push the uh, express setup button when you apply power, and help make sure it's held down hold it down it's going to take about 30 seconds maybe a little bit longer maybe 45 something of that nature so make sure it's kind of comfortable in your hand you don't want to drop it at this point you want to make sure that button stays pressed it will go through and blink a couple lights when all three lights on the very side of that express button come up red then you are default you are out of box so then your switch is out of box and then you can go back and do an express setup so if you have forgotten your password, if you do not know how to get in the switch, if you need to configure it for something else and you need a quick method, this is the way to do it. This is a quick and easy way to do it. And then you need to know how to do the express setup and then you need to know how to do the, the smart ports or whatever configuration you're trying to do. I will have videos pertaining to that. Uh, again, this is a, a video of a switch that I just set up through express setup. I know there's not much, uh, it's just me talking a lot, but it is very um, important to know how to default the switch. Again, there's very uh, there, there's many different reasons why. I just named off the top three. Very important one is a lot of people forget their passwords. Um, I've done it several times, uh, or I've got given a switch and said, here, you know, I need this done. Okay, so what's the password? I don't know. Um, so I have to do this process, right? You would have to do the same process too. Or if you just need a quick way to get in there and just reconfigure it real quick, just this, I mean, it literally takes a couple minutes. And then you, you take a couple minutes, configure it, you're up and running in 15, 20 minutes. So again, I hope this was helpful. Uh, real short, quick video to the point. Um, again, if you found this video, you're probably wanting to know you know how to how to default and and get your um, you know you lost your password or you want to get it set up pretty quick so again hopefully this was helpful and, and led you in that direction I will link my express setup video below so feel free to watch that as well um, again we're gonna go through the smart port setups and other other kind of setups and, and stuff of that nature in VLANs um, on the next couple of videos so Again, hopefully this was helpful and uh, got you to the point where you're able to get get the thing running. All right, thanks.